Hey, ho, it's Sooty and Ho Everybody say hello There's Sooty and Sweet And the call Sue And little cousin Scampy There'll be fun galore With the terrible four Just you wait and see That it's Sooty and Company Sooty and Company Oh, hello there Hey, you know we're always looking for new ways of making money here at Sooty & Co. Well, I think I've come up with a really good new thought. The thing is, I've just got to check with Sooty Sweep, Sue and Little Cousin Scampy, see what they think first. Morning, Matthew. S starting with Sue. Uh, good morning, Sue. Sue, would you mind if I ask you a question? No. Well, uh, if there was somebody else living here in this house, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, somebody who was, somebody who was quite old, mm -hmm. well, well, somebody who was very old, actually, someone who's... Someone whose memory was, you know, not quite what it used to be. Would you mind? I mean, would, would you still be the same kind, caring, loving, patient panda that you are now? Would you? Hmm? 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 Listen, Matthew, there's no shame in being old. It happens to everyone. And I'm sure that I can speak for all of us when I say that you've nothing to worry about. The fact is, we're all used to you being an old dodderer. <laughs> Pee, see you later. <laughs> oh, by the way, you're dribbling at the corner of your mouth. Sue! I wasn't talking about me. Yes, Sweep. Like I was telling you, he just keeps going on and on about getting old and losing his memory. <laughs> He's already lost his marbles. <laughs> and most of his hair. Yes, you're right. Poor old thing. By the way, where's Sooty? <laughs> Finding a friend for old man Matthew. What are you talking about? <laughs> Goodness me, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't notice you standing there. Oh, what a dear, sweet old gentleman you are. Are you lost? I don't think he's sure, you know, sweet. He's a bit confused. Mind you, he does look very old. <coughs> well, where did you live, sir? Here? Here? But I'm afraid that's impossible. What, sweep? He does live here. Of course he doesn't sweep. Sooty's the only bear that lives here. <coughs> it is Sooty. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh, Sooty, you young rascal. Or should I say, you old rascal. <laughs> Guess what? I got down here for breakfast to find that we've got a visitor. Look at this. This old gentleman was already here when I got here. He's obviously very old and probably a little bit confused. But I must say, sir, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, and I must say as well, you remind me of someone. He was probably famous when he was younger. Uh, uh, sir, w would you like to... Wah! Look! 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 Two old gentlemen. Well, I don't, I don't know what you're doing in our dining room, sir, but I must say it's a pleasure to meet you as well. <coughs> oh, did you hear that? That little old frail voice. He's obviously extremely old. If you think those two are old, what? you can forget it. I'm the one with the age around here. Those two are my grandchildren. What? You're their granny? Hey, Matthew! Oh. We really had you fooled then, didn't we? You thought we were all pensioners, didn't you? Oh, look who it is! <laughs> it's, it's you three! Yes, we were just pretending oh. to be old. Come on, boys, you can take your old man disguises off now. So can you, Matthew. Sue, I'm not wearing an old man disguise. Oh. I always look like this. <laughs> So, have you all got that now? I was not talking about me when I was talking about an old person. <laughs> That's right, Sweep. I was talking about Moe's uncle. <laughs> what? Uncle Stuart? <laughs> exactly so, Sooty. Exactly so. And is so. he going to live here? Oh, goodness me, no, Sue. I'm, we're just going to look after him for the afternoon. <laughs> and actually, it could be an interesting sideline for our business, if it's successful. <laughs> I can see it now. Sooty and Co. Senior Citizen Sitting Service. Come Sorry. On. Only me, Mowbray Marky. Oh, hello, Mo. Uh, have you got Uncle Stuart with you? Aye, I've packed him out front, but he's on a double yellow, so I'll be quick. Right. Now then, uh, have you got a cushion? No, no, I may have put a bit of weight on, but... No, uh... no, I mean for sale in the shop. Oh, I see. There's one in the storeroom. Oh, good. Well, you go and get it. Go on. Uh, Sue, lend him a hand. Go on, off you go. 
And a walking stick. Have you got a walking stick? Uh, I I'm not too sure. What? You know where there is one? Well, go and fetch it. Go on. Go on. Good boy. I suppose you just want to borrow these things, do you, Mo? No, neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's what my Uncle Stuart used to say. Well, actually, he still does say it. You'll probably hear him when I bring him in. Any road up, that's by the by. No, no, no! I want to buy these things to make his stay with you far more comfortable. Now, he'll need a walking stick, and he does like a cushion for his back, and money is no object. Really? No. Well, do you know, that is very big of you, Mo. I shall look at you in a new light from now on. <laughs> I feel a sale coming on. <laughs> Ooh, that, that's a right Bobby Dazzler, is that sweet? Oh, yes, there's a champion walking stick. Now then, well, how much do you want for these, then? Matthew? Well, since it's for Uncle Stuart, shall we say uh, five pounds for the pair of them? Oh, right, right. Five pounds, that's, uh, that's uh, fair enough, then. I'll, I'll just go and get him. Oh. What? What? I have told you about him, haven't I? Y yes. What do, you, what do you mean? I mean, you do know that he's old, don't you? Yes, I was just explaining that to this lot, wasn't right. I? Yeah. Right. I yeah. mean, very old. Yes. How very old? Uh, five times seven, six pounds to take what? a win. Oh, he'll be 120 next birthday, aye. 120? <laughs> oh, I happen that's why it can be a bit difficult sometimes, you know. <laughs> Yes, sweet, difficult, difficult. Anyway, ne ne never mind. Uh, you, you go and fetch him in there, all right, all right. Listen to me, it doesn't matter how difficult he is. The fact is that at long last, Mo has bought something. That woman has finally bought something from our shop. <laughs> oh, oh uh, well, no, uh, um, sooty, sweet Matthew. Yeah. This is Uncle Stuart. <laughs> Uncle Stuart, this is sooty, sweet and Matthew. <coughs> oh, I like you. Really? What would he do if he didn't like us? Never, never mind about that. Look, but is there anything that Uncle Stuart will need whilst you're away, Mum? Oh, no, 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 not especially. No, I can't. Right. Wait. Oh, I. What? He'll need a walking stick, and he does like a cushion for his back, don't you? Don't you, love? <laughs> See. So, uh, have you got a cushion and a walking stick? Well. <laughs> Well, I did have, but I just sold them to you, of course. Oh, I, oh never mind, love. I'll tell you what. What? I'll sell them back to you, shall I? Shall we say a tenner? So uh, perhaps if I just take this fiver, then you can owe me to the one. What? Hey! Fiver's what I were going to pay you for looking after Uncle Stuart, weren't it? So, uh, shall we just call it quits then, love? ta -ra. See you all later. Oh, you, you just behave yourself, you. <laughs> with that either, Matthew. You're right, Sue. Nothing seems to get a response. What, Sooty? He didn't like your magic tricks. But no, no, it's not that he didn't like them. It's just that he didn't notice them. <laughs> he didn't notice your jokes. I think he did notice them. It's just that he didn't like them, sweet. What, Scampi? We could always play a game and let him watch. Oh, yes, that's a good idea, Matthew. He obviously isn't going to join in, but he may enjoy watching us. Now, uh, what should we play? <laughs> Hide and see? Well... I suppose it's worth a try. OK, well, look, since you mentioned the game, you can go and hide, Sweep, all right? And, and we'll all count to 20, close our eyes, count to 20, and come and find you. Ready? Go! One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten, ten eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty! Coming, coming to, to get, get you, you wherever you, you are! <laughs> what? What's the matter, sir? He's gone! But of course he's gone. He's gone to hide, no, no, Sue. No, sweep your ninny with Uncle Stuart. What? <laughs> Come on, you lot. Keep looking. You can't have gone far. I mean, he is 120 years old. Stuart! Oh, this is ridiculous. Hey, come up here, you two. Look, I tell you what, you go and look upstairs, okay? I'll carry on looking down here. Yep, ready you. Okay, go on. I cannot believe this. But I mean, he can't have gone far because of. Look! Oh no! Oh, 
Sweep must have mistaken Uncle Stuart for a bone and buried him in the garden. Uncle Stuart, Uncle Stuart, I'm so sorry. I'm so... S Little Cousin Stampy. <laughs> Times have I told you not to dig in the garden? Cooey, only me, more from market. Sit more quickly. Down, 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 down. Down you go, down you go. <coughs> down quick. Shh, shh, shh. Don't move, don't move. Oh, uh, hello, Mo. I uh, just felt a putt round, see how Uncle Stuart was getting along. He's lost. Lost? I mean, lost, lost, lost in a world of his own. But he's happy wherever he is. What? No, I mean, wherever he is, in the shop, wherever he is, he's, uh, he's, he couldn't be happier. <laughs> that's, Here. that's what I meant. Yes. Here. What? Have you got someone pushing up those daisies there? Uh, no, 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 they're not daisies, actually. No, they're, uh, they're busy lizzies, which is why they're moving. They're just uh, too busy, by half. Aye. Well, that's as maybe. But remember this, yes. my little green-fingered friend. Yes. If anything should happen to Uncle Stuart, yes. it'll be you I come looking for. Yes. What do you like at hide and seek? <clears throat> I'll be back to check on him in one hour. Make sure he's here. I will. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Uncle Stuart. No, there's no sign of him in here, is there, Sooty? You go and check the wardrobe down there. No, don't be silly, Sooty. Uncle Stuart couldn't get in there. Oh, Sweep could be in there, of course. Gosh, yes, I've forgotten about Sweep. I wonder where he is. Sweep, Sweep, where are you? Sweep, you must be here somewhere. Just where are you hiding? Sweep, Uncle Stuart. Of course, Sweep has no idea this is anything but a game of hide-and-seek. And he does love a game of hide-and-seek. I know, thinks Sweep. I'll hide in this wardrobe. No one would think about using this as a hiding place. So Sweep climbs inside the wardrobe, completely unaware that he is not alone. It seems that someone else did think that it was a good place to hide. Shh, says Uncle Stuart, or they'll find our hiding place. Our hiding place, says Sweet. Our hiding place? But this is my hiding place. You'll have to leave. But just at that moment, it was no one's hiding place. Their cover was blown. Sweep! <coughs> Uncle Stuart! <coughs> I can't decide whether I should ring the police first and report Uncle Stuart missing, or ring the ambulance first. What? Does Uncle Stuart need an ambulance? Scampi, if Mo discovers I've lost her Uncle Stuart, it will be me that needs the ambulance. Hello, Matthew. Do I detect the slightest hint of panic in your voice? You detect major panic. Mm -hmm. Listen, if I don't find Uncle Stuart soon, Mo will spifflicate me. Well, you and Scampi may not be very good at finding things, but what? Sooty and I are, aren't we, Sooty? Well, what have you found? What, well, what here's you find number one. Bring him up. What do you mean, find number one? What did you... <laughs> oh, well done, all right. So you found sweet. Big deal. And here is find number two. <laughs> What do you mean? Look, so I'm a little bit busy. I mean, I, I can't... I can... Wah! Oh, Uncle Stuart! Oh, you found him! Oh, this is brilliant news! Uncle Stuart! Yes, yes, yes! You lovely man! I think I could kiss you! <laughs> no second thoughts, I won't do that. Look, it still calls for celebration. Come on, into the dining room, everybody! Come on, come on, come on! Hey, Sue, so you must tell me exactly where you found him. And Sooty, you've no idea how grateful I am now. No, when Mo came round here, she was all, you know, really dead suspicious. I mean, I think I was pretty cool, and I think I covered things up quite well, but I'll tell you this for nothing, if I really had lost Uncle Stuart, I would be in deep trouble. I'll tell you this for nothing as well. I am not going to take my eyes off you again, Uncle Stuart. Uncle Stuart! Thank you! We left him in the shop! What? Uncle Stuart! Uncle Stuart! Oh, this is ridiculous. There's no. Oh, don't do that. There's no sign of him. Oh, no. Look, the door's open as well. He could have gone out. Sue, go and check outside, would you please? Uh, Scampi, go and check upstairs. Sweet, just pop out in the backyard, see if he's out there. <laughs> Uncle Stuart! Uncle Stuart! Where are you? 
Look, if Mo gets here and find no Uncle Stuart, she's going to kill me. I've got to do something. Look, pop down there. There's a, there's a tray of theatrical makeup down here. Bring that here, Sooty. Now, you've got to do your best to make me look like Uncle Stuart. Please, you must do it. I've got to get some time. I must buy some time. Make a start. Nice try. Nice start. Well done. Excellent. So Scampy is looking in the loft, searching for an antique uncle. But it seems the only antique he's found is an antique piece of cheese. Ooh. Come on, Sutty, quickly, quickly! Half done. <laughs> Scamp is looking in Sooty's bedroom. Uncle Stuart, Uncle Stuart, where are you? Hey, well done, Sooty. That's not bad. Not bad at all. We'll just have to wait and see whether it will pass the ultimate test. What? What's that? We've got to wait and see whether it fools Mo. Cooey, only me. Mighty Mo from Market. We're just about to find out. <gasps> there you are, Uncle Stuart. Hello, Sooty, love. Are you all right? Give us a signal if you're all right. <coughs> oh, bless him, he's champion. Do you know, Sooty, you've done a right good job in looking after him. Flipping's that better than that stupid Matthew any road up. Do you know, when I came round earlier, I thought he'd lost you. But I, I wouldn't let no harm come to you, Nunky. I tell you summit though, if he had have misplaced you, I'd have grabbed hold of him and I'd have shaken him and shaken him till his eyeballs dropped out. Then I'd have shaken him some more. Then I'd have made mincemeat out of him and fed him to crows. So what do you think about that, Nunky, eh? Just what do you think? <laughs> oh, he, he does have a spray with words. So, whilst my life hangs in the balance downstairs, Scampy is still looking for Uncle Stuart upstairs. At least, that's what he's supposed to be doing. To be honest, he seems more interested in this little toy. But watch the wardrobe door behind him. I must congratulate you, Sooty. Mo fell for that hook, line and sinker. She really believed that I was Uncle Stuart. You... Oh, no. Uncle Stuart, we still haven't found him, have we? But what is it, Scampy? What do you want? You got a present for me? A pro present? What now? Well, this is not exactly the time. Oh, go on then. What have you got for me? Got a pre Uncle Stuart! Uncle Stuart! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes, Uncle Stuart. Just a minute, you spoke. Yes, of course I spoke. Do you think I'm barmy or something? Well, well, but, 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 Uncle Stuart, you are 120 years old. Yeah. yeah. No, of course I'm not. I just tell our Maureen that so she'll stop mithering me. <laughs> yeah, we all thought you were potty. I, I mean, sorry. I'm, no, uh, uh, no, you don't have to apologise. <laughs> I pretend to be a bit of a barm pot so I can play games like hide and seek. Otherwise, if I didn't pretend to be barmy, people would think I'm stupid, wouldn't they? <gasps> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going home to take my teeth out and have a nice bowl of tripe. Uh, are you going to say it or shall I? Say what? Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>